Yes, today's topic, today's hot topic, what may I do? I don't say it's get a bunch of people upset and people are going to all up in them feelings. But remember, these are my opinions. I mean, these are you to me talk truth. And whoever wants to vex, them just are going to vex. Because we know, say, the truth is always an offense to people. Now, the topic we're going to touch on today, right, is leaders and followers and groupies and a bunch of people where team up together and sell them my friends all right so make we get straight into it now my belief is this if you have a group of a man apart together and sell them a bridge you must always have one within the group. One within the group that must have a brain. An objective brain. You must have a smart person within the group. You must have a person in the group where if one I'm so-called friend or one I'm friend them, I do certain things wrong. Or will get himself in a trouble. He must be the one to say, Boy, I am a dog. I don't think that is a right move. You must have one person in the group. Must be a speaker of truth. You must have a person in the group. It must be the person in the group. who must be a leader. And lead by example. Good examples. May not about bad examples. Because if not, the bunch of men them were in the group. If the ship are go down, the water them are go down too. If the ship are go down for wrong things, the water them are go down too, because there's not one of them to save them from what has happened. Blind can't lead blind. You can't have a bunch of idiot apart. You have to have a clever one out of the group. The same thing goes to female too. Because I notice what happened now. You have a bunch of female apart together. And the whole of them are idiots. Not one of them have sense. None of them is not a leader. The whole of them pretty much follow each other do. So if so if if somebody were to, were to come and try to, to mislead one. Right? I try to kidnap the whole of them. There's not one of them were smart enough to get them out of that situation. Because the whole of them pretty much I think the same way. None of them have no sense. You know how stupid it is, right? For a bunch of people are par and not one of them street smart. In this society today, even if you're not book smart, you have to be street smart. Because if you're not street smart, you know the amount of things will have happen to you. You know the amount of things will have happen to you because you're not street smart. Because certain things, the way or you're naive, you're not going to see. You have put yourself in a big trouble and mess. You're not going to see that. So you have to be street smart. So for all the groupies, all the people them were apart together, whether 10 male friends or 6 female friends, there's most one or one within that team can be a leader and lead by examples. Because sometimes when you have power with people and sometimes you are going to make a wrong step and if there was just one somebody who said dog, I don't think that's a good move. And show you a different way. You wouldn't make that step. A bunch of people wouldn't get themselves in the trouble with them in today if there was just one person to show them a different way. But because them choose themselves to align with a bunch of people who don't have the head 
for think. All them see is just black and white. They don't see the other colors. Especially when you're young. When you're young and you're an adolescent. You just, you just turn 18 or 19 or 20. Remember, you have to need some form of guidance because a bunch of things you don't know. Stop acting as if you know a lot because you don't know shit. You don't know shit. You have a bunch of a young youth out there trying to play games for some big man. And the only thing they end up on do is style themselves who wicked. Same thing goes for a bunch of a young girls who are going around and trying to style some big man. We have years of experience over them and they don't realize that most of the man them see the type of games where them are playing just laugh about it. But you know sometimes you just give a person rope for in themselves. Because a lot of times these local young girls who are trying to play games, they end up in a bunch of mess. And sometimes that's all it takes. One mistake will ruin your whole entire life. That's all it takes. Just one mistake. Some people lucky enough for that one mistake don't ruin your life. Some people going to school and their parents spending how much, how much money for sending them to, to high school and then graduate from high school and time to go to college and because they're trying to play certain games because they think they're smart. Bad things happen to them. So always try to be a leader. Don't try to be a groupie. Don't try to be a groupie. Try to be the clever one amongst your friends. And if you think you're not smart enough, align yourself with people that can teach you something positive. Because if you have a bunch of idiot apart, that's all it gonna be a bunch of idiot apart. I'm gonna tell some female this. We're living in our time. We are serious time now. You see, before in the past, a bunch of female could do a bunch of stuff and get away with it. You see, now because time's hard, we're gonna stop playing certain games with man. Because when we get hurt by some man, some man will literally hurt you. Know? So if you don't want a man, do not play certain games with the man, but you come out and tell the man straight up. Don't mislead the man. Because it's not like, say, you have some man, you have some man a gallus, right? And you have some man look on girl thing different. But remember, there's a bunch of girl clowns out there. So when the girl clown spending money upon a bunch of women, eh, theme expectation different from a man we used to woman, and we just say, chow, I want them thing there. You have some man, them say spending money upon a woman is an investment. So when him see him investment and do certain things, I'm in investment when I leave him. I'm not going to make him investment, leave him like that. Then we take it to art more than some man. Remember, say so you have a bunch of girl clones out there. So before you go around and play certain games with certain man, you know the type of man we are playing a game with because some man will physically hurt you. Some man will physically hurt you. So if you know you don't want the man, don't take the man things and play certain games. And if you stop doing that because you know what happened, I guarantee you this. If you're genuine enough, I'm bold enough to talk to a bunch of men and sit them down and explain to the man and say, boy, you hear me? I don't want any in a relationship, you know. I want so and so from a man. A man will always have it in his back of his mind. More than like the story where I hear the other day. Man spent three years with woman. All along, he swear, say, he's the main man. He's the main man. 
because the woman never tell him say I him at the side man. So half of the three years where him there the woman you know, she had the things like him at the main man. Cooking him Sunday dinner, she wash him clothes and all of that. And the amount of time she spent with him, him swear say him at the main man, him never know say him at the side man. So when when everything comes to light and him find out say him at the side man, what you think him do? Him go kill the man. All of that could be avoided. And the woman them. Because it's in 99.9% .9 of the time some woman breed. And them know who breed them. But instead, them give the man a jacket. And I said fit you wear it. Remember this. Some man will wear the jacket. Some man will wear the jacket. But remember, I know every man will wear it. I know every man will wear that jacket there. Do you know the type of man that you have? If he will wear the jacket or not? So you don't have to take certain risks. You don't have to take certain risks. If you're not bold enough and respect yourself enough to sit down some man and tell them the truth, you don't have to play the games. You have a bunch of females, they look good. They look good enough. And a lot of men with them I talk to would take care of them. And give them a lot of stuff. We spend for them, treat them like a them boy for a woman. So they don't have to play that game. But yet, them there with the man and them want to play certain games with the man. So when I play games with two, three, and four men, it really doesn't make no sense because if you pay attention to that one man will pay attention to you. It's more beneficial to you than the three and four men that you play games with. Some women just think about it up in the quick two or three thousand dollars and the four thousand dollars when we can get from him. Remember, remember this, there's a bunch of men out there who need a decent woman. And sometimes the man they might put on it to a test. A man meet you and like you. And the first day into the conversation, the first thing where you start to beg, 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 beg. That's a big turn off. You're not a style to your thing. Because you don't know the intention what the man have. Sometimes the man they might test on it. We see what one is really about. And you see the, the woman where a girl and a beg, beg, beg them look at some change. Remember, most time in most cases, for years and top of years, them continue doing the same thing to every man. And they will always be a beggar. They will always be a beggar. Because even when them, them find a good man, them turn him off the same way. The man them are get wiser and wiser by the day. I don't style when I come with the tech time I fade out. The style when I come with the tech time I fade out. Because you know, basically I go with the trend where I go on and what I wear. I wanna follow a bunch of female artists that hey, them can't talk whatever you know. Because remember, enough of them I, I talk the things from the mic. But in a real life, them really not do it. In our real life, most of them female artists are yamed. We know that for a fact, in our real life, the same female and we are telling us you do a bunch of things. And I make it seem like a woman empowerment. A bunch of them are yamed. A bunch of them are big man clown. And they are telling us all of these things and I portray themselves. As if, oh, we are the type of woman we get money from man and we do this and we do that and we have no thing luck. If we never know a bunch of them, I live. If things are bust up on social media a bunch of times, you don't even know how a bunch of them, I live. So, I don't follow them. I don't follow them. My belief is this woman supposed to have street credit. 
you're supposed to have street credit. Because I want you to realize with ghetto life. You see, a woman the uptown, it hard of you know things about her. Hard of you know things about her. Because sometimes a woman live uptown, nobody don't even know her. Because everybody pretty much mind them own a business, nobody don't know her. But you see, when you come on to girl in the garrison, a woman will be in the garrison and she is skillful for people to know for her business. And sometimes the friends them will share power with, even if she even have the she had a good one out of the bunch of friends them she are power with. Because of the old time saying says, show me a friend, let me show you who you is. To the man them are to everybody else. She had the same type of girl. She ain't no different because of the friend them she are power with. She ain't no different. And them sit down and listen to them friends. Now for them find a good man. And I call them and listen to them yamed friends them. Well them them say don't know how to treat a good man. A man where we actually set you up in a life and take care of you and move your life from zero to a hundred. And buy you the finer things in life and make you travel and put you in a decent house, take you to the borders and take you to, uh, to the old, 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 old piece of cockroach shed where you in and put you somewhere else. Nice. And I treat you good because you listen to you look at me. Uh, you made friend, near me mouth and take him money and this and that. But we take him money, and you and your friend, them take the man money and I share it and I spend it. And you don't realize that the friend will tell you that she want big, you made too. And no friend because them see have a, a local man will take care of you now. Them not like see that. Them sabotage it by use them style. And if you're not clever enough to realize where your friend them are do, then you're just as a big idiot. If you make your friend them influence you for style a good man when you get him, and the man has spent for you and take care of you, and you make your friend them as, a, a influence you for style a man, then you're a big idiot. Because I guarantee you this. If them find a good man or a man who spend for them, they wouldn't listen to you. They would try to hold on for them. So you have to be careful. Be a thinker. Stop acting like a groupie. Because groupie do things within the group. Everything is where all of us think, it's not where you think. At times you start thinking for yourself what you want and stop listening to your friends them what they want. All of us should want the same thing. There's a bunch of good men out there that want a good woman. But because the way how things tear and because the way our female mind gets so corrupted even when them find a good man, them treat them like shit. And then some local boy, what do them dry shit and them body forgive them? The bleach out and the tattoo and the, the weed in a jar corner. And I have nothing progressive to tell them. Those are the ones them drawn to. Those are the ones them drawn to. Where well, you can't even sit down and hold a constructive conversation with. We well, can't teach you nothing. You are use the mirror and I put on bleaching cream. Him and do the same thing too. Him want a tattoo, you want a tattoo. Him want the spotlight, you want the end of the spotlight. Those are the type of man where you have some little female drawn to. And the man them will to send them go to school, send them go back to school and pay them school fee and change them life and buy a car and put them in a house up to and all of those things. Those are the man they want to style and use. And then them turn idiot. For some look about when I give them shit. You know how much I want to fuck my hungry belly? Eh? 
You know how much I want The reason I don't care about fuck with condom because the boy who don't fuck with care about buy condom. You know how much I want that that happened to? You know how much I want to? Gas a pack up enough time into that on a fuck? A full time for the start things smart and stop listening to the bunch of female them where I come from stage and I, I tell them a fuckery. I make it seem like they're a good man not there. Good man still around. Them just don't trust on no more. Because on a full of too much style. And for the man them. We a big idiot. We a listen. Some human. We a telling us say, men are no man. Only is a fucking idiot. Because 90% of the time when a woman has said, I'm not a man, she now have no, no bona fide man for herself. But she have a man who she have fuck maybe one or two. I only go fall for that. In this time, if you say there's anybody single, and for the woman them, we have to just talk, talk to some man. And hear the biggest, stupidest question we only go ask some man. You're single? Are you a fucking idiot? Where you go find a single man? Man already shot already. Any man we use here, same single. Unless he more dead or something wrong with him. And he, if he more dead, him still a single. Because enough man who dead them have to use them out. So, don't ask no man that question there. No, ask no man that question there if he's single. If you ask a man, if you use, if you use one of them female, I assume. Or ask a man say, are you single? You're a fucking idiot. Man already shot already. Years ago, it usually be 10 women to one man. Now, it's 12 female to one man. The way a man shot. The way a man shot. 99% of the women them out there right now are tech people, man. And the woman, them, the one and two woman of a man for themselves, them a fair fight hard for keep him. Because that she quit. If it's not her best friend. There's one girl out there. And the line is so long. If she have a good man, the line so fucking long. If she slip, she lose the man there. Because enough man are there out there. And we don't live in our world where there's one man can go with one woman. That not exists. So stop ask man if them single. And for the man them see some woman and I ask them that question there. You're single. You, you, you're a fucking idiot to your slow. It better if you approach a girl and say, listen, you know you have, you, you look a man on the side or a man a, a fuck you, but more than want to be the main man. It better you, you give a girl that approach. It better you give that girl approach. So there's a bunch of people who walk around them naive as fuck. Them so naive. We live in a society right now where people do things nowadays and them don't even care. Everybody just want to live. Rarely you find somebody who 100% care about people no more. Everybody just a, a think about themselves. And for the man and we are spent on some woman. And feel as though because you are spent on the woman you own her. You don't own nobody, sir. The only thing you do is just pay for your space. You don't own nobody. You don't own no woman. You just pay for your space. When it's time for you to go. Our time for the relationship done with the relationship was done with. And as a man, you must can accept that and move on. No kill nobody, girl, pit in a war with them because uh, them said the relationship done. A person there is just not for you. If the person is right for you, you can't beat a woman if you be right. The right person will do the right things. 
The wrong person always going to do the wrong things. The right person will do the right things. But the games them were a player. The games them were a player. Oh man, remember the society where we live in. You know? I know everybody only can play certain games with. I always go with the notion. You see some people, whether a man or a woman, you have to put them to the test. You have to put them to the test. To see the type of somebody we are dealing with. But stop going with this uh, notion and say, okay, me trust. Me trust him. Or me trust her. Let me come like a shopkeeper. Mr. Trust dead. If Jesus couldn't trust him disciples, so would the fuck me ever trust? We is as good as we good. Any day we good, we good. So if a 10 year we good, I lost 10 year we good. We good as we good. But so long as you can just live your life and just be honest to the next person. Be honest. If you want to be a girl, it's a road. And if you're a bunch of women, be a girl. Make sure you know this is who you is. If she want to accept it, she accept it. If she don't want to deal with it, she says she can't deal with it, she go on. Same thing goes vice versa. Woman, if you take the man and you want to have three, four men, tell him say this is your lifestyle. If you want to accept it, you must accept it. You come tell the man a lie, boy, are you alone, baby? Are you alone, me there with? No, do them something there. Because when him find us, say, I'm alone. What do you think I can happen? And every man can take it the same. Some man weep, 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 weep. Some man weep. But you need to understand the person where you're there with. And I see certain things, certain things, some people will take to heart. Some people will take certain things to heart. Girl, well, them know say them are a bad man, but you are run certain risks. You are run certain risks, so you know, say they with them a bad man. We can't afford them, film friend them laugh, half a him. Some girl are run certain risks and they know say them there with a soldier. Some girl are run certain risks and they know say them there with a police. And you're that brave enough and stupid and most of the time the way all the stupid when I bring the next man in the bad man house or the police man house or the soldier man house. Especially sometimes, most of the time at the bed where the man buy. It's not the man where you are fuck. Make him take it so literally, you know. How weird you care the man go fuck him. Because the right thing for you to do, if you are fuck a next man, if the man can't care you, go feed me hard. Or the man can't go book you in a hotel. Don't care the man go in a your man yard. No care the man go in a the man house, pan the man bed. No do that. A lot of man will kill for that. A lot of man will hurt a man for that. Because that level of disrespect. Especially when the man knows say this is a woman who treat good. A style him so wicked. Some man will anger the bone, you know. But how you give him the bun? Some man will even angle the whole entire bakery too. Some man will angle the, 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 the HTB and the, the Max Field. But how you give him it? You want to have your man? Book a hotel. I got a female yard. But don't bring the man into the next man yard. Because him himself knows say, that's a big disrespect. Because what would he do if that was female woman? You know how much woman on this face of this earth? Me know. All of them left them and say, I want a good man, I want a good man, I want a good man. I can't wait to get a good man. And when they do get a good man, they don't even realize. 
because they're so caught up in the games and the type of things they do them get a good man and the same friend with them and listen to they say no I'm not good on this and that yeah me out and do all type of things the same friend where them a confide in her and I influence them and the same friend go take where the man from them I know them see the friend I live up big life now with the same man the same man set up the friend and the friend I live big life them eat the friend now and I said the friend of Judas and the friend wicked and uh, yeah. are you a idiot because sometimes you see when a female go to them friend and I brag about a man how the man treat her good I don't know, say most of the time the female sit down to herself and say, John, no, for real? You know, say more than a man then? I don't like a idiot. I trust the friend. Most of the time you have some so-called friends around you, then one where you have. Are you if you know that? Then one where you have. Especially when, when them say you, I treat the man certain way. You know how much friend lose them good man because of our next friend? You know how much family member left them man because family member go tell them things and then what happened? The family member go take with them man. You know how much time that happened? If you talk to somebody, no, no, nobody is supposed to tell you certain things you're supposed to see it for yourself and if, if somebody says certain things to you you're supposed to investigate and see it for yourself because you remember you have a bunch of friend liar there on you you have a whole heap of friend liar there on you you have a bunch of friend with them that want to see you excel faster than them they want to keep it down on them level if you are the one that first get a breakthrough they don't like to see that Especially if them even better looking at you. If them better looking at you, forcing them and saying, you know, you don't deserve that. I'm mean, nicer than you. So you have to be careful. You have friends, you have to be clever. Or else, you have to get a bunch of opportunity and the same friends that you have are going to make you lose it. So you have to be careful. It's very rare you have a friend around you. And when a good opportunity comes your way, the friend can say, You know, so that's a good opportunity. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Are you, you know, so you find a good man, treat him good. Don't mess it up, you know. The friend of my God always find some fault or some excuse. Or tell some lie. For try to make you and the person mash up. So, on have to know these things. On have to know these things. You want to do road. If you want to do road as a youngie. If you want to do road. There are certain things where you need to know. There are certain things where you need to know. And listen to this. You see all of the chatterbox them with their own friend. And because you say you friend them. And you friend them. So everything where you tell them. I know everything you're supposed to tell your friend them. I know everything. There are certain things where you need to keep to yourself. Because remember you say anytime. You and them friend the friendship break up. You see, remember this, you know, you see, all of the secrets, them are everything where you tell your friend them. Remember, you know, them are the same friend, them are going to take it and stab you in the back, the wickedest way, you know. Remember, so when you have people around you, you know, you have feed them with information, you know. The only thing where you have feed them with, you know, ammunition, you know, for when that day come. Are you prepared for deal with the consequences when that day come, when the friendship go apart? Only you not know, see what I go on on social media. When friendship break up, what happen? Only not see what happen. Only now wake up. When friendship break up, the secrets them where your friend have for you. Do you know? 
What they're going to do with those secrets? Do you know? Do you know the type of friend that you have? When you and them friendship break up, how them are going to react? Do you know? Do you think you want to take that chance and trust that person with that, 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 that big bungle of fighting power for walk away from you? Can you honestly say you trust that next person with, that, with, with so much information and so much dirt fire? And when everything busts out in the light now, and your parents them get embarrassed, and people start look for you away, at them time that you really see the fuck with them where you did that. Now. And I know say when you have friends around you, there's certain things where you have to tell your friend, keep your mouth shut. Certain things where you, where you do, you need to care that guy your grave. There's some things you need to care that guy your grave. But no fun to chat too much. No fun to chat too much. I don't know what to talk to. You remember the old time saying, only your friend know your secret. So them alone can reveal it. No fun to chat too much. No for no go with the philosophy for say. Me only tell people things on a need to know basis. Only things where you need to know. You're supposed to share with some people. Anything that can become damaging to you in the long run. You don't have to come and tell everybody or I tell people. You don't have to do that. There's no such things as friend will last for your lifetime. It not gonna happen. You're young? Alright, you're naive as fuck if you check so that gonna happen. You're naive as fuck if you check so the friend where you are by the person where you are confident, you know. You and them friendship are gonna last forever. Because one thing we know, you have a bunch of friends, we are par, and people we are moved together, then do a bunch of dirt with them who don't want the public to know about. So why would you trust a next person if you tell them all of these things, I make them know all of these things. And so my time, only have a bunch of friends them, only for learn for make some one away move. Your friend don't know where you where you gonna do. You can tell your friend where you go, just in case something happen. But your friend nothing know everything where you do. Only if you know these things. Not for only one on the road, but on the street smart. On our idiot to road, on our live on a life half a lock, on our live on a life half a lock, a lock in a phone, a lucky. There's a bunch of things people need to know, both male and female. I rather keep my circle very small. That simply means, say, eh, it's where me do something and me alone know. Me have associate people who me deal with. Once in a while, me go link them or shout them. Or we may go have a drink. But I know everybody, me go uh, sit down and I tell my business. Me not know you. Me not know you. You will have power with somebody for five or six years. You still not know them. You still not know who you are power with. Until that day come, you couldn't believe such a person there who you are part of so many years. Stay the way all them stay. When the friendship gets sour, you wouldn't believe. Same thing goes for relationship, same thing goes for friend. My grandfather always tell me this about male or female. 
this will happen to. The only way you will know the type of person where you have around you or really miss if you're the person passed through suffocation and through the suffocation you're the person were together and then that person becomes successful or say for instance the person eat the lotto and the person have the same attitude towards you treat you the same way are even better than you have a person around you that's real flip the script now if you were always a successful person and you're there with somebody and one day you were to become broke and the person remain the same and stick with you through your broke state then you have a real somebody but most of the time when a person successful and then get broke the person with them have beside them run gone because them not deal with no broke life they're not used to that them run gone just like the opposite sides you have a bunch of people that poor as soon as them get uh wealthier or they come across money you see the shit side of them then treat you like shit them no why you no more like how you have a bunch of man a woman will stick by them through all them struggles until they make it in a life and look what them do the woman will inherit the benefits of your success what you do you run away and go pick up a girl from nowhere when they know your struggles and if i've been there with you figure spend pan her figure fix her up figure buy her a nice car you and her a chop and do all of that and the woman will stick with you throughout the struggles. No reap none of the benefits there. And it goes bo both ways. Some females do the same thing too. So you have to be careful of the people and what you have around you. So that's my input. And friends, groupies, and the people um, in your circle. Some people may not like what I'm saying, but we just come for talk truth. So that's my truth. I'm out. <laughs>